We've been in Mexico for like two hours and I've already made it my mission to find a gym. We did stop and have some eats first, but I found it. I see weights, I see cardio machines, I see... I see margaritas. Which means extra cardio. <laughs> <laughs> but we found the gym, gonna be hitting it up for sure. Very excited about it. First we're gonna hit these up. Shh. Every morning I'm supposed to have protein about 30 to 40 grams and unfortunately I don't have a blender or shaker cup with me. The protein that I brought doesn't shake up very well so I just decided I would probably mix it into some oatmeal or something every morning but the oatmeal that is available at the buffet is pre-made with milk so I can't have it. So my solution has been dumping a packet of protein into some cereal with some almond milk and just mashing it all together and it looks pretty nasty and everyone around me thinks I'm nuts probably but it actually tastes pretty good and it's chocolate protein so I don't mind it and uh, that's our view so not too bad um, so we eat a little bit of breakfast before we go to the gym then we have our second breakfast and then we just check out all the restaurants all day long. So today is the first day we're gonna try some of the different restaurants. But so far I've been living off of chicken tacos and just cooked chicken and some veggies. But it's been great, the food's been awesome. Day three in Mexico. Just ignore those chocolatey treats. Um, and just had some breakfast. We get up really early every day so that we can get our spot at the pool. And now we're headed to the gym for the third day in a row. But today I'm just gonna be doing cardio because my coach 
um, asked me to send him some photos on Saturday of my physique and his comments were that I am basically going to start eating a little less and doing a little more cardio. So the least I can do right now is ignore those chocolate things and get on the cardio. So today I'm going to do 35 minutes on like the stair climber or something at the gym. So fun in my gym stuff. Ready to go. Okay, just finished. 35 minutes of cardio on the stair mill. And now we're gonna go do yoga right there. Skylar's already there, so I'm on my way. So cool! Skylar's just on the phone, and so I thought I would take this opportunity to talk a little bit about a weird experience that happens with, I think, a lot of people that are in fitness competition and you know maybe they don't talk about but for example to i'm at a resort everyone's in bathing suits we're in the pool and i have a lot of people come up and be like oh my god you're like so ripped or blah blah like you're so muscular you're so fit and i'm not complaining like oh well it's me that people say that but the closer i get to my competition the more people are going to start being like whoa like you were really fit now you're like super extreme and you're taking it too far and you shouldn't need to diet anymore and you're not eating enough and so I know that part's gonna come up so right now I'm just kind of in the the beginnings of that of people telling me you know like you look really fit and it's kind of uncomfortable sometimes because people will be like oh you have an eight pack and like what the hell and what do you do and do you even eat and blah 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 and it's hard to explain to people what I'm doing or why I'm doing it or that I still have like a long ways to go um, so I think it's just all in general like everyone needs to be sensitive to everybody's bodies there's a lot of different kind of phobias out there and judgments that come with that and you know people get judged a lot for being too large and also too thin and also too muscular and also not muscular enough or too curvy or not curvy enough and so I think we just all have to be really careful what we say because sometimes people will say things and you think you're making a compliment but it actually might make the person feel more insecure about something. I have nothing bad to say about anybody that said anything to me on this trip but um, I, it's just something to think about because I mean the worst thing that people have said is just like how do you live and like what do you even eat and it's like I have a very balanced life and I feel like I have a very balanced perspective on food and fitness and and all of that and I think you know I've struggled with stuff in my own past and um, you know I feel like a lot of women do so I just think it's important that we all be a little sensitive and you know, embracing of other people's body types and figures and physiques. And you know, like I see a lot of women out there that have a completely different body type than me and I think it's so beautiful. And, you know, I'm envious of that. And there's certain things that I will never be able to achieve at the gym and you know, the ideals of a female body. So yeah, I'm just, I'm aware of it. And I know that the closer I get to my competition and the more my physique changes, the more comments I might be receiving from strangers, friends, family, but specifically strangers, they tend to have the most interesting comments about my body. So um, just be careful what you say to people and sensitive because you never know, you know what your words, how they might affect somebody.
We just got back from Salulita. It was really awesome. A friend of ours lives there, or her brother lives there, and so we got to stay in this really cute apartment and go to the beach. And she drove us back to the resort this morning. Now I'm having my non-recommended breakfast. <laughs> um, I'm going to. I just decided I'm just going for it. I'm gonna just eat the shit out of this vacation, and I'll be ready to get back to my very strict and regimented plan for the next two and a half months, so. Loving my food right now. So our last night here at the resort. Tomorrow is the end of another week for me. That's the end of week 11. So, in summary, I definitely never stuck to my diet. I did go to the gym almost every day, except for two days. And I definitely feel like I've gained some body fat back for sure, more than I generally carry on me in general. It is important to note that when you're traveling, you do end up carrying a lot of water weight, especially um, because you tend to eat at restaurants, drink alcohol, you're in the sun. So today I've been really trying to drink a ton of water to combat the bloating that I feel, but it will definitely be a combination of bloating and some body fat. It's just the way it is. But I'm definitely ready to get back into my regular routine. We feel very relaxed and we have a wonderful vacation so far. Um, Mexico is so beautiful. Puerto Vallarta is so amazing. Highly recommend everyone to come here. And now we're just going for our last dinner. Good morning. Last morning in Puerto Vallarta. And just on our way to have a light breakfast and then a workout. And then we'll have another breakfast, because that's how we roll. Well, we're just waiting for our shuttle back to the airport and back to Canada. Say bye to heaven. Bye, heaven. <laughs> I guess I'm going to just weigh myself tomorrow and just start from there and see where I'm at. I'm actually jumping right back into everything. I have an appointment with the person that's going to be making my suit for my competition and I also have a posing class on Sunday so just getting right back into it. I will also be seeing my coach on Sunday as well. I'm not too worried about it because I feel like I have a lot of time. Left. Okay the shuttle's here so I'm wrapping up week 11. Tomorrow is week 10. Bye!